everyone I just wanted to show y'all how to make a rescue block really quick and to show you how to make sure we get the full effect of it and not have an incident like what just happened with Andrew he was created a rescue block and then he ends up going to somebody else uh, to do a rescue and he wasn't able to pick up any packages so I'm gonna show y'all really quick how we need to make sure we do these rescue blocks so go to operations delivery Go to the edit route assignments. And this all pops up right here. Uh, create a DSP initiated rescue right there. And we are in a standard vehicle. And the start time, this is the hour, the start time, this is the hour right here. You want to put it at the time <clears throat> that their shift is going to be at so it's 509 right now so we can't create a rescue block that was at five o'clock so you want to create one that's about 515 that works or 530 uh, doesn't matter so one thing to keep in mind is this is in military time I've made the mistake several times of uh, if it's five o'clock then I'll press this five well that's 5 a.m. so the rescue block never got created uh, because it was before before and it, it, it doesn't um, it doesn't let them sign into flex and be able to start doing rescue so uh, I want to put a rescue block for 515 so that is 17 and then 15 right here so these are the minutes they only go uh, 15 30 or 45 or of course right on the hour so I want to click 515 so 12 plus 5 equals 17. That's how we got that. It's military time. And then the duration is the is the length of their shift. So you want to put that just at 10 hours. Like I've been putting it at 4 hours or 6 hours. Just how long I anticipated for them to be out there. But everybody should go ahead and anticipate a 10-hour shift because that's what they're scheduled. So go ahead and make it 10 hours. Uh, the issue before with Andrew was he was scheduled – five or six hour shift and by the time that that five or six hours was up he wasn't able to pick up any packages from Leslie so let's just do a 10 hour uh, rescue block uh, that's the duration the hour the 10 and then the required quantity uh, if we have more than one rescue driver you can just put that up uh, for however many rescue drivers we have so we're just doing one uh, and then create the block it's going to pop up right here, the DSB initiated work. Highlight that so you can see it. So you'll press this plus to drop down the menu. And the rescue block is right here, 5.15 p.m. So you will select and associate to roster. And click their name. And then click save right here. And it's saved. So make sure that check marks right there whenever you save it. And... I should be able to sign into Flex and start picking up packages off of people now. Uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, if they are already signed into Flex and you already created this, have them sign out of Flex and then sign back in, and it should it should be able to work. So if y'all got any questions, just let me know. I wanted to give you all that quick tutorial while I was thinking about it. All right, y'all. Thanks.